Hello, everyone, and welcome back to today's episode of One Man Stream. In today's episode, we're going to tackle the concept of masking. And I'll have to admit, when I first started messing uh, with the masking function in GT Title Designer, it was a little tough for me to wrap my head around. Uh, but after I used it for a while, uh, I was able to get comfortable with it. So today, what we're going to show you is how to use the masking function, and we're going to do it with three different uh, masking, or three different ways of masking. As you can see here, I've masked an image over top of the entire uh, graphic uh, that I had previously made. It was just a, a solid background. And the second one, uh, what I did is I created uh, like a lower third, and then I brought in this image here. And uh, with this image, uh, what I've done is I have masked it with uh, the entirety of this um, lower third graphic that I made. But in this one, you can see that I have an outline uh, all the way around this graphic. But with this uh, type of masking here, it covers up that uh, outline edge. Uh, sometimes I do that. I find that desirable. And then other times, excuse me, and then other times I like the way this third graphic looks where it leaves in that outline, but it still allows you to mask the image and bring it in. So we're going to show you this and so much more on today's episode of One Man Stream. Okay, so we're going to start off with this fellow right here first. And I'll, I'll show you how I do this. It's very simple. Let's go ahead and get rid of this for right now. Okay, so what I did is I just uh, click on the rectangle here. And then I come in and I make a, a little rectangle. <clears throat> and on this one here, I do something just a little bit different. Uh, what I do is I round over the edges. You can see right now there's 90 degree angles on every one of these corners. But on this particular graphic here, what I did is I rounded the uh, edges over. So what I do is I come up to the radius here and let's go somewhere between 20 and 21. That's normally what I use. So we'll go with 21. There we go, 21. And when I back out of it, you can see how the corners are, um, are eased. So how do you get this image inside this uh, little rectangle graphic that we just made. Well, it's actually very simple. What you do is you go up to the image button here and I'll click on that and I'll find the image I want to use and click OK. And it brings it in and it has it really huge. So what I do is I continue to shrink it down until I get to a size um, that I can manage with my graphic. And this is actually a screenshot uh, that I took uh, at one of the uh, last uh, uh, boxing events that we did. It's a really cool uh, historic venue here in Louisville, Kentucky. It's called the Henry Clay, and they do a really good job of setting it up for this promoter uh, for boxing, and I really enjoy doing our shows from there, but I'll go ahead and shrink it down a little bit more, and one more time, and I'm going to try to make it about the same size as the graphic. So now what do you do? Well, I try to be very specific uh, when I'm making my descriptions of these different, different elements over here so I know uh, which one I'm masking it with. But this particular one, I click on this rectangle, it shows up rectangle four. So when I bring the image over top of it, when I go to effects and masking, I'm going to mask it with rectangle four. So I'll click on rectangle four and that's what happens. It actually takes anything that was over top of that rectangle and puts it inside what we're masking it with. And then you can adjust it after the fact to get it just exactly like you like it. So that's how we did that first one. On the second one, it's very similar. We go up here to rectangle, come over here, create a rectangle, and you'll notice this time it is skewed instead of rounded over. Well, how do you do that? Well, you go up to format, and, oh no, you don't. You go to effects, and again, I'm going to use that same 21, and I don't know why. It just seems to work out well for me. And let's go ahead 
and we're going to lighten up the inside a little bit. And then what we're going to do is the edging we're going to put around it, we're going to make it darker. So, and let's go ahead and, and uh, make the thickness of it, oops, let's go ahead and make the thickness of it five. And you can see that we have a nice little outline for this graphic here. Well, let's go ahead and bring in the image now. So I click on image and find the image I want. Once again, it brings it in pretty big. So let's shrink it down to something that we can deal with. And let's bring it over top of our graphic that we made. And let's look and see, this one's called rectangle five. So we are going to mask it with rectangle five. And you can see that it covers up the edging. And like I said, sometimes that's desirable and sometimes it's not. It covers up the edging over here, but then leaves it over here. So let's go to our third example and you'll see that it leaves the edging all the way around. So it's very similar to the, uh, to the uh, design that we just made. Go ahead and make it. And then we're going to go ahead and skew it. Let's go ahead and lighten up the inside, darken the edging, and make it five again. And you can see we have an edging all the way around it. Well, this is where a little trickery comes in. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make another rectangle. And I'm going to skew this one as well. I'm going to bring it over here. And I'll show you a little trick. When you're trying to really get this to the position that you want and you want to make really fine adjustments, if you click on this image bar here uh, where it says rectangle seven, I'm clicking on that and then I use my arrows. It allows me to make really fine adjustments to it. So let's back it out. I think that's exactly where I want it. So I'm going to click on it again and I'm going to go to right here and I'm going to make it lighter and four seems to be the sweet spot. So we're gonna put it right there. And this is called rectangle seven. So now what I'm gonna do is when I bring the image in, when I bring the image in, I'm going to mask it and you have probably already guessed it and figured it out. We're going to mask it by rectangle seven. There we go. So let's go ahead and do that. Go to effects, let's go to mask, rectangle seven, and you can see that the image is masked, but the outline is preserved. And like I said, sometimes I like it this way, sometimes I like it this way. Uh, this image right here I think looks a little bit cleaner and actually I use this one this uh, this style quite a bit. So that was pretty quick and easy it's just a little, little tutorial on masking I hope you found it uh, informative. Uh, one thing I did want to mention is we now have a website and it's www.onemanstream.com it has uh, the same postings um, that I have um, with, uh, with YouTube. It has the exact same postings on it, but one thing that uh, it has in addition is I have a lot of photos from the different venues uh, and the different projects we've done uh, along the way. So I have a lot of photos here. You may find them interesting. Uh, this is some of our crew um, and some of the different places that we've been. This was a really cool show right here. Let's go down a little bit. Uh, this was uh, a MMA promoter we used to do. It was Hard Rock 1000, uh, and they were celebrating it at um, 
4th Street Live in Louisville. Uh, this is a look at look inside of the uh, of the uh, portable trailer uh, that we built. Uh, we actually are going to take most of the um, electronics and most of the uh, equipment out of here and put it into our home studio once we get the home studio uh, made. And then uh, this was a really cool venue here also. Uh, this was the uh, uh, African American Heritage Center. Uh, and that was also in Louisville, and this right here is the uh, venue that I was just talking about, the Henry Clay. But I'm going to put a lot more resources in here as we go along. Um, I actually had some requests for some of the templates that I've made, and I'm going to make a section here for templates. So I'll have the vMix templates with all the assets for a particular vMix setup, and then I'll also put in the vMix UTC uh, setups as well as we go along. And uh, I may have mentioned this in the last video, I'm currently working on a four parts series on uh, creating a cricket scoring system uh, in vMix UTC. And it's very detailed. And to be totally honest, I'm having to teach myself cricket uh, from uh, step one. So we'll have that coming up in the future. It'll probably a while, be a while, at least a month or so uh, before I have it uh, totally done. And then I'm probably gonna ask for uh, some beta testers uh, to uh, test it and play around with it and uh, find find any of the bugs that it might have. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, episode of One Man Stream. As always, make sure you give us a thumbs up and a like Oops, over here, thumbs up and a like, and uh, make sure you subscribe so that you'll be notified uh, as soon as new videos are posted. Thank you very much.